Hello everybody, today in my studio I will be photographing this product on white background and I won't show you how I do this using only one lamp. First things are using the white background. The background is one side is shining but another side is not shining and I using not shining the side, the background uh, because I don't want to have reflection on my product. most important things uh, when I uh, choose the product uh, for photography I always check if it's box or bottles or something different or that can it's like how looks the uh, product have a mark scratch if I have scratch or mark I don't choose because I know I spend a lot of time uh, relating for editing this uh, product on photos but uh, I choose always the best uh, the best quality. If I photography the fruits or veggie the same, I choose the best uh, quality, the fruits, veggie or different product. Another things what I do uh, before I shoot each product, I using the macrofibe and I clean the product, try to clean uh, good because we don't want to have different uh, direct, um, dirty product. Uh, put on us photo because it looks not nice and we spent uh, later many times to editing this product Another things what I will be choice uh, What I do is uh, put the lamp I using these lamps is the Godox uh, 60 SL 60W and I will be using this uh, lamp today for my photography only this lamp when you see I put uh, the lamp uh, like the same uh, position what is my uh, my uh, product but later I will be check in camera how it looks and uh, put to back front or left to right we'll see later and you see here is the shadows uh, from this side but will be the reduction the shadows i put there uh, the whiteboard but we can make it again here make this light more uh, soft not that strong and will be more softness the uh, uh, the shadows how we do this we using the soft box or uh, so we can using softbox, you can using umbrella or you can using diffuser. This time I can I will be using diffuser. I put my uh, diffuser on the stand. If I put uh, closer the my light the diffuser, the light is more uh, is stronger, but if I put more closer to my background, the diffuser, the light will be more softness, the shadow will be more softness the same. You see here is uh, everything good with the lights, but this side is the shadow, still we have shadow, and this side the uh, kerns is more dark. What we do this time, I will be using the uh, whiteboard. I have whiteboard, it's the big whiteboard, for me it's okay, I like that big, you can use it of course smaller. I put here the whiteboard. That looks my uh, setup for this photo. One thing what I wanted uh, to do is po put my camera, I put front of the product the same uh, high because I wanted to have front of the photos. And today I using camera Canon on the I put on tripod because it's easy for me later uh, work with camera on the tripod and I using my new lens what is 35 millimeters uh, Sigma and I will be uh, photographing this using this lens 
and if so I want uh, using 100 aperture I using probably 7 8 or 9 we'll see how sharp is all box and uh, uh, the name uh, the logo the company if it's sharp everything like on uh, aperture 9 is okay if not I will be put more like aperture 11 12 13 uh, I will be see which uh, is the best for this shoot Before I will be shoot, I have here one lamp, what I'm using now to record this uh, video. I will be switch off this lamp because I don't want to have any reflection on my box. And uh, I want using only this one light to do these photos. Mm -hmm. I set up my camera now. And when I... Uh, using this camera I always put the timer like two seconds before I make the shoot because when I put the button uh, take the photos the shoot uh, always you touching the camera and can be a little uh, distraction the lens the, uh, the camera and the photo is not blur later and is not sharp I'm satisfaction with these photos with uh, the lights and uh, now I show you how looks the photo after editing because now I must only editing in Photoshop and that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe, give the button like and comment. If you're looking for more that video, visit my YouTube and see you soon. Thank you very much.